uh, in this video we are going to learn about how to show events that are live under community page so in this video we will be showing all the events that has been registered in the app with their uh, user who are hosting the event and location of the event uh, image of the event title and tags after doing these uh, things then we will be implementing search on community page so this search will be going to be uh, work on multiple features like uh, name location title and tags so there are a lot to learn in this video so stay tuned uh, let's get started first of all uh, i have created this ui hopefully you guys understand how to create a ui and this is the code basically i have search controller this is text editing controller instance and then all the other stuff <coughs> this is a grid view uh, dot builder because i will be getting all events from firebase and i will be showing up here so i have already uh, fetched events in the last videos if i can show you in the data controller so i have method called get events and there is a <coughs> uh, list of events called all events so we will be using this event list to show data over here so now let's start first of all i have to import the data controller instance data controller get dot find and we have to mention the type over here so basically the uh, the dependency that we are searching is data controller right and then we have to move toward the grid view dot builder so over here we have to wrap the whole grid view with an obx mean observable widget we have to paste it over here so uh, now let's do further work a uh, grid view dot builder basically contain item count and item builder so we have to replace this count value with the events that we have it's inside data controller dot all events dot length this will give us the length of the event now let's give it a restart so yeah sorry uh, upon hot, uh, hot reload it basically uh, shows shows up to four events because we have four events registered uh, I think now we have to work upon the information of the users so again uh, I'm not going to do uh, the same thing over here again and again so I'm going to uh, load all information over here and then I come back I'm back with the uh, events preloaded so you guys can see all the events that we have on the home page over here are showing over here so now let's start working upon the on search right so how basically search works if we type anything basically we have to work on the on change suppose if i type cohort so i need only events that are going to happen in cohort right so in the on change we will be filtering the list with this particular input word so for this purpose if a user uh, remove the search and then we have to show all the list or all the events again so basically for this pur purpose we have to create in another list uh, as you guys can see all events and i have to create one another list called uh, filter filter filtered events right so this basically means that all the event that we will be going to filter will store on this document snapshot and uh, upon assigning a value to all events we have to assign the same value to the filter events where it is mm, yeah here filtered events dot assign on I'm going to event dot docs right so this is how uh, basically we have created two list one is for showing all the events and one is for showing the filtered events uh, now let's uh, go back over here and I have used all events so basically I have to replace this all events with the filtered events upon here I have to change filtered events dot list 
and the whole screen we just have to use filter events mm. So yeah, I think I have removed all events completely. Yeah, it is not showing up there. And we have to give it a restart. So basically, and the data controller method is called again get all events. So basically, all events is uh, loaded, and also data in the filter event list is also loaded over here. The next thing is we have to work upon Austin or the search engine. So I have a method called onChange. It takes input uh, string. Then we have to apply one check. If input dot is empty. Uh, suppose if the input is empty, this means uh, if I write something over here and then I clear uh, this search. So basically, this condition get true. Input is empty. So in case of empty, we have to show all events. So we have to do data controller dot filtered events dot uh, filtered events dot assign all or uh, maybe dot value in data controller dot all events. I think like this. We just have to assign the values from one list to another. But in case of uh, if the input is not empty, so then we have to do uh, one thing. We have to filter the list. But how we can filter the list? Uh, let me uh, get some code and uh, I will paste it over here and then I will go through it and explain to you guys. So I have basically pasted some code over the else section and basically this else section is the backbone of the search that basically search throughout the list let me explain this code so first of all i'm uh, iterating our all event list suppose if there are 10 elements in the all events so i'm going to 10 elements each one by one and applying some conditions so first of all i'm i'm creating a list of tags and then uh, boolean variable is tag contained so basically in the tag list i'm loading the tags that is exist inside the event so you guys can see i have implemented a try catch uh, element dot get so basically i am getting uh, tags that belong to event and storing it inside the tag list and then i am applying a uh, for loop the for loop is basically for uh, two things first of all i am uh, uh, i am transforming the upper lo uh, letters in the text to a lower let letters so we don't have case sensitivity problem in the search if anyone write uh, cohort in small or upper letter so it will be considered as a single element right so first of all uh, inside the for loop i am uh, translating this tag to the lower case and storing it inside and then i am implying a if check inside this for loop if tag of i the two string that contains what it contains suppose uh, this this is a tag go co right so uh, first of all i have uh, translated this tag into the uh, lower letter and then i am checking that whether something that i have typed over here contains inside this tag if it contains that the, this variable uh, that i have created basically i assign true value to this all right so this is all for the uh, tags this is this is how uh, search based on tags working and next uh, I am repeating the uh, same process uh, element dot get location dot to string get location of the event transform it to the lower case and then check whether this element that I have typed over here inside the location right if it exists then it will return me a true and also I am uh, using a um, or operator so or operator is mean if this is true or this is true then return true in our uh, operator basically uh, it returned false if both of them are false 
and it return true if I one of them is true right if the text or if the element that I have type here contain inside location or inside the uh, tags so it will be returned as true so basically this is done for two things one is for the uh, tag and another is for the location now let's do same thing for the uh, user let's do same thing for the title as well we have to just copy from here up to here okay Here and then we have to write over here event underscore name. So that's it. We have did it for the uh, title as well. Now let's check whether it is working or not. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, refresh it. It's not required, but uh, it's my hobby that I refresh every time when I do some changes. Now let's click on community page okay uh, let's search for the event that contain home h o double m y so you guys can see all the events are uh, truncated except the home right suppose i'm going to reverse back and yeah it is loaded all the events again suppose i'm going to search your uh, event that contain new york right new york sorry okay okay, okay. this is a problem there exists a problem in the search i have write new york but it load one element and then when i remove uh, the search and it is not appearing at all so basically uh, i have did this mistake by myself in order to show you that word sign and uh, uh, this means so basically this error is coming for the observable list we have to do is instead of uh, assigning all events value to the filter event list we have to do it uh, using another way data controller dot filter events dot assign all so we have to use assign all method and then we have to call data controller dot all events and we have to remove this tag right now let's again give it a restart Uh, let's search for the New York So yeah, it is showing correctly now I'm going to remove everything and it is again showing all the events uh, Let's search for Goko It's only showing Goko all right, so basically this is how uh, we can say uh, a dynamic or multi field search works uh, thank you guys for watching the video hopefully you guys have liked the video and please subscribe channel if you have not subscribed yet thanks